Hi and welcome back to my channel. So my name is Mari. If you're new here, welcome. I love to have you here. And in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down five the most important things why I am a minimalist. So I've been on my minimalism journey for over two and a half years at this point. So I have learned a lot throughout the way and got a lot of benefits from it. So in this video, I'm going to tell you the five favorite reasons why I'm being minimalist and why I still keep doing it. So let's see those reasons and let's start the video. So let's start from the fifth one and that is slow mornings. I absolutely love slow mornings and minimalism has definitely made those possible for me by freeing up a lot of time and just being able to have your own schedule and do work later on and I can have slow mornings several several times in a week and I absolutely love that. Then the fourth reason is less clutter and that is kind of an obvious thing about minimalism but the one thing that i like even more than less clutter is less visible clutter so visual clutter is something that bothers me personally really much and i kind of can't get anything done if i'm seeing like piles there piles there uh, products all over that shouldn't be in there or like any items or clothing or everything and it affects my productivity so much so having so much less visual clutter has definitely made a huge improvement uh, into my life and especially on my work life because I can get much more done if there isn't anything visual clutter wise that I can see when the stuff the visual clutter is actually out of your life, you're just like that, like this feels so much better, much more open and it's just a lot more calming. And I just really, really love that. So of course, having so much less stuff is super, super rewarding, but the less visual clutter is definitely a lot more huger to me. Then the third thing is more money. And this is kind of something that I know was coming along the way of minimalism, but I didn't realize how much. Of course, when you stop buying new stuff, like new clothing, new decor, new makeup, new beauty stuff, new everything, you free up a lot of money every single month to use on other things or to save up. So of course you can use those money that you previously used on stuff. You can of course use those on experiments, but because of Corona that hasn't been possible lately. So that's why minimalism at least in the past year has definitely saved me a lot of money because I'm not using it and I'm not buying anything, especially for me because I did the whole no buy year challenge, shopping stuff for a whole year and I only bought dog stuff because I have a dog and food. I didn't buy anything else. Of course, like restaurants and movies and that kind of stuff was allowed. And we also moved during my no buy challenge and we didn't buy anything. So that is kind of a shocking news when it comes to my life because I'm used to buying a lot because I used to be a maximalist. So having a lot more money to save up and to put in other things is definitely freeing to your mind because it enables you to do a lot of other things than just work, 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 work and work. So that has definitely been my third favorite and the reason why I still remain minimalist because it is definitely a benefit that I want to keep. Then the second reason and my second favorite thing is more time. So that also means more freedom. So when you stop doing all the shopping and you also, minimalism also taught you kind of like how to say no and kind of everything that isn't necessarily like 
toxic relationships, toxic friendships, toxic workspace, anything. You can also let go of those and you're kind of like, I don't, this is not necessary for my life. This doesn't bring any joy or fun or anything into my life. You kind of let go of those so it frees up also a lot of time because of that and of course because you don't have to work that much to get all of that money to afford all of those clothes and makeup and apartments and big houses and everything it frees up a lot of time because you don't have to work that much if you don't want to and also it frees up a lot of time because you are not always cleaning and also reorganizing and buying new stuff so you learn to say no a lot more often because you want to have your own freedom and time and that is definitely something that took me a long time to learn to say no to things that are toxic and not good for me and things that I don't actually want to do and I may be doing to please other people or I'm doing for money to get more stuff so definitely that is a huge thing that I've loved in minimalism then the first reason why I am minimalist and why I love minimalism so much is that it clears out a lot of brain space that is kind of weird to say but actually clears up and frees up so much brain space to think valuable things in life because when I wasn't on my nobi, like before my nobi year, I was always thinking the next thing that I want, the next thing that I want to um, achieve, the next thing that I desire, the next thing that will make me happy. And it was kind of like a constant circle of wanting something new to get happy, to get more stuff to be happier. And it's such a no ending race to kind of trying to make yourself happy, but you can't truly make yourself happy with material stuff. When you start buying everything else, you're kind of like, what is the point in life? So I definitely freed up a lot of brain space to think a lot more important things than just stuff. And it has been so, so good for my like mental health and to get stuff done, to be productive, to do things that actually matter and not just like work, 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 work on like things that you actually don't even want to work on, but you are just doing that for the money so you can buy more stuff and then work more to get more stuff. So definitely my favorite thing that I have gained from starting minimalism has been the freed up space to actually think important stuff. So that has definitely been something that I wasn't expecting, but what turns out to be the best part of minimalism that I have gained and which has made the most huge impact on my life. So those were basically all the five things why I am minimalist and what are my five favorite things and benefits that I have gained from minimalism. So hopefully you learned a lot, hopefully this inspires you and if you have any questions about my journey or you want to talk about minimalism in general, please leave me a comment down below, I would love to chat with you and that is basically it for this video. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hopefully you would do that at this point. I do a lot of uh, beauty, makeup and minimalism and also zero waste videos here on my channel so I would love to have you here and also if you can put the thumbs up on this video that will really help my channel to grow so hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully we will see on the next one happy Thursday and bye